dear brothers and sisters all across the world, our religions have divided us. Religious war has claimed millions of our lives, turned millions of us homeless, and created the biggest enmity among mankind. Many of us will be surprised by what we're about to hear, but it is very important we refer to these things if truly we all want to restore the peace that we have lost in our world. The Chinese have been existing 2,070 years before Christ. The first history of Japan was 210 years before Christ. The Koreans have been existing 2,333 years before Christ. The history of the Indians is dated to as far back as 3,300 years before Christ. Jesus, peace be upon him, was born on AD 1, meaning Anno Domini, which means the year of our Lord Jesus Christ, and died on AD 30 or 33, as history has it. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born on 570 CE in the Common Era, that was 570 years after Christ and died in 632 CE. Now, these are the big questions most of us fail to ask. Question 1. Is there any proof to say that for all the thousands of years the Asians and the Indians have been existing before Christ, they never heard about God and God has just left them to exist? Question 2. How come the Quran the Bible and every other scripture that is sourced from the Jewish and the Arab nations never mentioned anything about the Asians and the Indians. The history of mankind as narrated in these books only covered the Jewish and the Arab nations. Question 3. Let us agree that the whites and the blacks are truly generations of Adam and Eve, probably because of our looks. But why did the Quran and the Bible not explain where the Chinese, the Japanese, the Koreans, and the Indians come from? Question 4. How come the religions that claim to be the most holy religions in our world and to have generated from the two sons of the same father, Father Abraham, are the most divided religions, causing unrest and hatred among themselves? and the rest of our world. This is the truth. The Christians are Christians because they have faith in a certain prophet and book. The Muslims are Muslims because they believe in a particular prophet and book. A Jew is a Jew because he or she also believes in his or her own religion. The Buddhists are Buddhist because they solely believe in their own way of worship and so is every religion. But make no mistake, there is no evidence to support that God intends a single religion for the whole world or that God intends to grant paradise to a particular religion. But it is reasonable enough to say that every man and every woman shall be judged according to his or her own faith. This is my belief the world will become a peaceful place if we can grant freedom of religion to all. After all, life's only certainty is death. The Jews will die. The Christians will die. The Muslims will die. The Buddhists will die. And so will every human being. But the judgment will not be done by any of us. Your response there, brothers and sisters, what do you say? Do you still think it's worth killing ourselves for religion? Or would you join us to embrace peace among mankind and make our world a better place? This is a clear message. We all need to unite for greater good if we truly want peace. It is time to stop giving in to religion's fight. It is time to stop following misleading religion's leaders. It is time to look at each other through the common thread of humanity disregarding all religious differences. 
let us create a culture that encourages peaceful marital relationships. A Muslim husband and a Christian wife can both live peacefully if they allow religious freedom in their relationship and also free their children to choose the religion they wish to practice because only God can guide. If anyone tells you to wear bomb and kill your Christian neighbors, tell him to wear it and bomb on his own since he claims to be going to heaven. If anyone tells you to hate your Muslim friends, tell him you are not the one to judge them when they die. If anyone promises you heaven for killing another, ask him in what city is heaven, as you would like to see it first before you kill someone. Because truly, if a terrorist believes he has a space in heaven, he would be the first to die without having to worry about those going to hell. Open your minds, brothers and sisters all across the world. Please, stop joining those claiming to be fighting holy war. Your country allows freedom of religion, yet you claim to be fighting holy war. That is not holy, but self-interest for personal gains. Let us reject hate speech in our places of worship. Let Christians go to their churches peacefully. Let Muslims go to their mosques peacefully. Let everyone worship what they believe in. Let everyone respect the faith of another. If we happen to find ourselves in other religions' communities, let us interact with each other with love, because we are all human beings first, above every other thing. Let us stop forcing people to join our own religion, because if we do not have any personal gain in having big number of followers, then why are we forcing people to join our own religion? Let us leave judgment for God, for He alone will judge each and every one of us. But remember this, too many of us have died already, too many are displaced, too many are in abject poverty, and too many are at the corner of death. All this for the differences in our religions. We should stop making our life miserable because of the mystery of creation. Let us embrace peace in our communities. Let us love each other regardless of our religious differences. God bless you all. God bless our world. <music>